Uh, good morning everyone, it's Bob from Grey Bear Models, welcome back. Um, and I just wanted to do a little, um, a little aside, <laughs> and I've just done that on the roof of, of the garage building that I'm making. And one of the things that uh, I thought I'd have a look at is actually the windows. Now, Mini Art do a whole selection of windows, but generally they're they are the same irrespective of what, what kit you've got so I think these principles that I'm going to go through um, are the same this is uh, the sort of roof light window that's in the in the in the garage building these are pairs of windows which is this section here um, these are that one and this one here is this particular style of window there with the frame now if you're building a, one of the mini art windows uh, and or one of mini art buildings I should say and you're only going to use it as a background then the windows may be not that important however I think they are and the, and the reason I think they are is because if you look at any any building um, that's a background, nearly always the windows are glazed. And one of the things Mini Art don't do is provide you with glazing material for these these windows. And you know you can cut them off the sprue. You know you've got to dress the edges and make it all tidy, and it goes into into a frame, and then it it sits there inside inside the back form building and that creates your background which is fine but that window is not glazed now when obviously when you're going past the building you look at a window you can see a reflection in it and if you don't have that within your diorama then it, it can look a bit odd so first and foremost what i wanted to do was look at look at acetate and clear acetate now I've got some bits and pieces here um, this is fairly fairly clear acetate it's clear enough for the purposes that we're looking at come and I get this from robbing out um, packaging so you might you might find that you buy something that comes you know mounted onto a card and then and it's a plastic I don't know sort of box that's fitted over the top of it um, and usually you just rip it apart get the get that get the item out that you've bought and you throw the packaging away or hopefully nowadays you recycle it well obviously the cardboard can be recycled but what I also do is I have a look at the the acetate I'm trying to I'm trying to think what this came from because this looks like a fairly like one piece there um, so this would have been like a, a vac formed acetate I suppose like that um, so what I've done is I've just cut the, the large flat area and put that in the stash same with that one that's that's one that was in there I think this one's already been uh, cut um, and these are just odd pieces that I've got left over from from other pieces but by salvaging the acetate you've now got your glazing material um, and if you're if you're glazing a window like that I don't see I don't know if the light will pick that up but that gives you the the, the sort of impression of glass in the window which is fine if if the window is in a back scene or something like that and you're not going to see behind it um, there's other things you can do to make it realistic um, so what I'll do is I'll just get out some bits and pieces and I'll come back to you so to give you an idea of, of what I mean this is um, a diorama base that I built uh, quite a few years ago now for, for another project um, this is a little silly utility vehicle it's a Tamiya 135th scale 
the windows used here are all from the mini art range and obviously the the back scene creates just a road a road scene but for the purposes of this one of the things that I wanted to show you is if you look into the into the window there you can see there's a reflection so the reflection shows the vehicle and and you can actually see my pointer there reflected in there that's because the backs of these windows and doors are all are all backed with an acetate material to give you that reflection um, in this particular case um, there's a there's some sort of curtain material there if you like that's just made out of tissue and um, in this window here I think there's a bit of there's a bit of curtain material there and same up there but they they're just it just gives a bit more depth and that's something that you can do with with the mini art windows is just create a bit more depth in the scene that, that you're trying to create so what I'll do is I'll go back to the windows let's clear the bench and I'll show you what I mean so with all the parts dressed and uh, put in place you've got your, your window and your window frame and if that's all you're going to be doing um, obviously you can paint this um, and you know have quite a good representation of a window in your back scene you use a piece of acetate it cuts the size you can put it behind there stick it in place you can use you know mi micro cl crystal clear is it uh, and other acetate type glues and PVA will do it um, and just stick that in place and you've got a you've got a glazed window the problem now occurs is should you wish to make this look a little bit more realistic it may be your diorama's got a bit more depth behind the window so you might want to have that window open now if you have that glazed as shown before when you glaze this window and you look in you'll see the piece of acetate stuck on that window frame and it will look exactly like that it will look like one sheet of glass that's actually I don't know nail to nail to the frame <laughs> or glue to the frame um, and it won't look it won't look at all realistic now some of you might be thinking this is a lot of fuss to go to with with glazing and stuff like that but where I'm getting to um, you'll, you'll see what I mean so with that one with that in mind um, one of the things that you need to do is find out how, how thick this acetate is now you can buy clear acetate And I've got this, this stuff is from uh, UKCardCrafts.com and it's 20 sheets of acetate. Can't remember for the life of me how much it cost. It was available on your favourite auction site. And as you can tell by the packet, this is A6 size and it's 140 microns thick or 140 microns thin um, I don't know what that is in old money um, but it's very very thin and it's used as indicated on there for sort of card crafts and things like that so um, if, if you know somebody who's doing card crafts or your local craft shop you might be able to you might be able to find an alternative like this as I'm in the salvaging um, what I've done is go gone through this and worked out how thick that is or measured how thick that is and it works out 
at about a quarter of a millimetre which is really handy so how are we going to how are we going to fit that there well this is where accuracy of cutting comes in I'm afraid um, you need to measure up the piece that you're going to need for, for that window frame and using this rule it's about 14 millimeters wide and however long that is that's 36 and a half seven and a half 37 and a half so you're going to need to cut your acetate at least to that sort of size to, to put a piece behind that individual window and then stick it in place and sort out exactly how, how wide that should be now I do have a strip that's prepared and this strip is actually 11 and a half millimeters wide and that's because it will sit in the window like that and it won't be right to the edge and that's where the next bit comes in because I've been shopping and found evergreen strip now this evergreen strip is 0.25 so a quarter of a millimetre by a millimetre wide and this strip can sit on the edge of your window frame like that and you can stick that into place that side and you can stick it into place on that side and you can stick it at the bottom edge and at the top edge there and then what what you end up with is a frame around the window that this acetate can sit within so I'm just going to cut all that up for you and I'll come back okay so we now got um, we now got that piece of glazing set in place there in between the the framework um, I haven't stuck that in position yet so that gives us gives us a fairly reflective surface you can you can well, it's very difficult under these conditions but yeah you've got you've got your glazing in place there like that yeah so now the back of it what we can do there is two other packs of the evergreen strip one is 0.25 by 0.5 mil that's that piece and the other is this the 0.25 by 1.5 mil now the 0.25 by 1.5 mil we can now lay over the top of that there and over the top there and then another piece at each end and we've then created a framework which will then hold that acetate in place without having to put any glue on it but to get that to work effectively you do need to use either um, the Tami R Extra Thin quick setting or Tami R Extra Thin I prefer the quick setting because it because it does exactly what it says um, so the one and a half mil will go around the outside it will I'll also put a piece across the middle section there because the middle section it's the same width as that strip and 
the 0.25 by 0.5 this is extremely tiny um, it's actually the same pretty much as those parts there so we can put that across there and get that in place and there and get that in place and then you've got a fully function glazed window and we, we can apply those those principles to all of the windows within the mini art range so there you have the uh, oh sorry camera's rocking so there you have the inner frame and uh, from the outside you've got um, you've got a sort of window there yes you can see through the edges you can see the white of the evergreen plastic but even with the window fully open like that you still got a pretty good representation of a properly glazed window and I think you'll, you'll agree that that looks that looks a hell of a lot better um, so what I'm going to do now is go on to the next part which is to show you uh, how this can actually help your windows look better so just bear with me a second I want to clear some bench space and get some more parts together and uh, I'll show you what's next I'll be back in a second so we've got the next piece cut the framework done and the acetate in and I don't know if it should pick this up but there's a scratch there on the acetate when you look at it through that side it looks like it's a window cracked hoping you can hoping it can see that but we can go further than that we can break the windows and if you're doing um, a scene where there's damage to buildings you're going to get window frames in place and you know if you, if you look at any pictures of, of bombed out buildings and that sort of thing you'll see that you know sometimes the window frame is still in place but it's the glass that's shattered and it's gone so what we can do is we can use using this principle we can cut the acetate in such a way that it looks like broken windows and it can be held in place in the same manner and it, it ends up looking like you've got a proper broken window and uh, so I'll put that down there using the same principle we've now got a window I uh, hope that's sort of picking that up but you've got a window with broken glass in it and you can do whatever whatever sort of design or, or whatever sort of damage you want to show but with this one like I say it's, uh, it's obviously taking some damage from something and the windows are broken so using these principles you can you can do anything you want with the window you can have it open and show the glazing you can have it closed and show the glazing whatever or you can do that and make it make it look like it's it's broken pieces of glass still in the window frame anyway i hope you found that interesting um be you know i'd appreciate any comments any any recommendations if you think there's a, a another way of doing it um, love to hear from you guys uh, really do appreciate the amount of support the channel's getting and uh, you know um, when I come up with a few more ideas I'll come back to you and uh, we'll see you all soon stay safe out there bye for now <laughs>